let me show you all gestures available on Motorola Edge 60 Fusion. So first of all, we're going to go to the settings and over here we have the gestures option. And in gesture settings, we can find, of course, the system navigation, so we can switch between the buttons navigation and the gesture navigation. We also have the circle to search, so we can press and hold the home button or the navigation button, uh, not button, handle, in order to activate it. For gesture navigation, we also have swipe for assistance, so we can swipe from the bottom left or bottom right corner towards the top side in order to activate the assistant, which is pretty cool. Now, besides that, we also have a sidebar. So a sidebar is by default located somewhere over here on the right side. So we can move it towards the middle like this in order to unfold it. And we have quick access to different apps that we can add over here, or we can press these dots in order to open the full list of apps. Now, besides that, we have the one handed mode. This one is deactivated if you use three buttons for navigation, if you swipe uh, gestures, then you can turn it on or off over here. And this is also uh, how um, we can activate the one handed mode for buttons. If you use buttons and we need to activate the shortcut and we can press this button in order to enable and disable the one handed mode. Besides that, we have swipe to split, which is a simple gesture that allows you to swipe right and left in order to activate the split screen. And now we also have the three finger screenshot. So you can simply press and hold with three fingers on your screen in order to capture a full screenshot. Let's go back. Over here we have the power key settings so we can decide what should happen when you press and hold the power button or if you double press it and we have the option to adjust the press and hold duration. We have media controls so you can assign a different functionality for volume up and down. More precisely, if you press volume up, then you can go to the next track. And if you press volume down, you can go back to the previous track. That is, of course, if you are listening to a music. There is also quick launch. So a double back tap gesture that allows you to quickly access something or do something by double tapping the back of the phone, this upper side. You can tap on the setting in order to choose what should happen when you double tap. In my case, I think my personal favorite is the take screenshot option. However, we can also open a specific app. And then we also have quick capture, so we can twist our phone twice in order to open the camera. We have fast flashlight, so we can use like a shaking motion. We can chop twice in order to toggle the flashlight. We have lift to unlock, so if you have the face recognition feature enabled, if you have your face data added to the phone, then you can just simply lift your phone you can pick it up and unlock it by looking at it. There is also pick up to silence. So if you have an incoming call, if you have the ringtone, you can pick up the phone and then you will mute the, uh, the ringtone by doing so. Of course, this option has to be enabled to make it work. And there is also flip for d and So you can put your phone, you can turn your phone face down in order to immediately turn on the do not disturb mode. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.